Hello, my name is Karagolo Meriam and I'm a teacher of Satkan Bhai Pintishak Memorial Asian Medical Institute and I will teach you Latin. Satkan Bhai Pintishak Asian Medical Institute provides you high quality and free of corruption education. In our institute, you have uh, opportunity to get a good education and to be taught by highly qualified teachers. And if you will work hard, you will make good doctor in the future. Now you should realize how your teacher profession is difficult and responsible. And remember that education is a passport to the future. And if you want to have prosperous, successful future, you must work hard now. Okay, so let's start our lesson of Latin. And today we are continuing discussing third declension nouns. In previous lesson, I taught you how to construct genitives form of third declension nouns. Today, we are continuing discussing them and I'm going to explain you how to indicate stem and type of stem of third declension nouns. So you already know that according to endings which are used to construct genitives, Latin nouns can be divided into five declensions. And of course, so most of our attention is paid to third declension nouns because they are exception of Latin grammar due to some several specific features. And first, you know that it is impossible to indicate the gender of third declension noun because Two reasons there. First, uh, in one gender group, there can be different gender endings and vice versa. In different gender endings, you can meet same confusing endings. Uh, next specific feature is uh, constructing genitives form of third declension noun. And you already know that it is also a very complicated process. And you must, it is very important, you must know how to construct genitives form correctly. So, uh, because of, we need to indicate uh, stem of third declension noun today. For this, first, you need to construct genitives form of noun, then remove ending is, and then the remained part will be stem. Okay, first, constructing genitives form, let's revise. You know that uh, in case of uh, declension, masculine nouns plus genitives will be floris, polyx, x will change to itsis, polyxis, homo, hominis, pulmo, pulmonis. Uh, Paris, we use ending etis because of even number of letters, parietis. Pass, we use ending S because of odd number of letters in word pages. Venter, we use ending ris, ventris, vomer, eris. Genitives form will be vomeris. So, in uh, case of third declension femininum nouns, you know that first noun cavitas, genitives ending, we use atis, cavitatis. Pubes, genitives form, pubis will be magnitudo, pre last letter consonant, inis, magnitudinis. Regio, we use ending onis, regionis. Pars, we use ending artis, partis. Frons, genitives form will be frontis. Lux, x we change to cis, luces. Pax, patsis. Radix, genitives form will be radicis. Salus, us ending must we change to utis, salutis. Phalanx, and x we change to engis, phalangis. Calx, calcis. Auris, Latin origin word, genitives will be auris. Iris, Greek origin word, genitives form will be iridis. In case of third declension neutrum nouns, um, abdomen, genitives ending, we use inis. So N ending must be changed to inis, abdominis, comma, genitives form comatis. 
Animal, Al, we change to Alis, Animalis, Calcar. R usually changed to Aris Calcaris. One exception, Lepar Grepatis. Caput, Itis, Capitis. Repe, a ending, we change to Is, Retis. Femur, Ur, we change to Oris, even number of letters, Femoris. Uh, sulfur, we uh, change to Uris, Sulfuris. Corpus, Corporis, Glomus, Glomeris. So, we already revised with you uh, how to construct genitives form of third declension noun. First step is done. Now, second step from constructed genitives forms, we need to, to remove ending is. So, go back to our third declension genit nouns genitivus form, and now we will remove uh, ending is in order to indicate stem of third declension nouns. So after removing is, uh, remaining part of um, genitives form of noun will be stem of third declension noun. So uh, now we can indicate stem of third declension noun. So it is very important to indicate stem of third declension noun correctly because this stem will be further used for constructing plural number form of third declension noun. So floris is we removed, flor, poly, k, homin, pulmon, pariet, pet, venter, and vom. Stems are cavitat, poop, magnitudin, region, part, Front, look, pack, radic, salute, phalanx, calc, aur, and irid. In uh, neutrum nouns, stems are abdomen, comat, animal, calcar, capit, red, femur, sulfur, corpor, and glomer are stems. So guys, after indicating stem, we need to indicate type of stem. There are three types of stems. Stems ending with one consonant, they are consonant type stems. Stem ending with I, R, they are vowel type stems. And stems ending with two or more consonants, they are mixed type stems. Look at the stem, floor, R, and the, at the end we have one consonant, R. So it is consonant type. Same with polyk, romin, pulmon, and pariet. All these stems at the end, they have only one consonant. So that is why they will be consonant type stem. But venter, at the end we can see three consonants, N, C, R. So it means that this is mixed type. And vomer ending R corresponds to vowel type stem. In femininum nouns, cavitat. Pub, magnitudin, and region. They are consonant type stems. And part, front, mixed type stems. Why? Because they end with two consonants. Look, pack, radic, and salute. They are consonant type stems. Phalanx and calc are mixed type. Our and ir, consonant type stems. In case of uh, neutrum nouns, abdomen, comma. Consonant type, animal, ending al, vowel type, calcar, capit, red, femur, sulfur, corpor. All of them are consonant type. And glomer, ending r, it is vowel type stem. So, guys, so today I taught you how to indicate stem of third declension nouns and how to indicate type of stems. As I told you, this information is very important. Uh, because uh, according to indicated stem and type of stem, uh, we uh, construct a plural number of Latin nouns. So thank you for attention. I hope my lesson was informative and useful for you. Goodbye.